Oh, what happened to our universe? If, if NASA weren't around, yeah. what would happen to our universe? Well, I can tell you this. If NASA weren't here, we would know a lot less about the universe. And we would be intellectually impoverished by that fact. Because I enjoy knowing where we are, where we came from, and where we're going. And those questions are answered from space. To know how Earth got here, how the sun got here, what the future of Earth will be, what the future of our sun will be. Will we need to leave Earth and find another planet? All of that comes to us from the discoveries of a space program. Much of those discoveries have come from NASA. So it's not that the universe would be different if NASA never existed. It's that we would be different in a way that I don't even want to think about. So we wouldn't, so we wouldn't know a single thing about the universe. Yeah, we, would be, we wouldn't know a single thing about the universe. We'd just be rummaging on Earth's surface thinking that our solutions to all our problems come from looking down rather than from looking up. Thank you. And, and, and how old are you? How old are you? How old are you? Um, six and three quarters. Okay. So wait, you have to tell everyone that because I, I, if I repeated it, you'd think I'm lying. Okay, go. Six and three quarters. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Love those fractions. Yes, get yeah, people going. Okay, if you're asking those questions now, you'll be the deepest thinking adult there ever was. So, so what is the meaning of life? I think people ask that question on the assumption that meaning is something you can look for, and then, oh, I found it. Here's the meaning. Here's what it is. I've been looking for it, okay? And it doesn't consider the possibility that maybe meaning in life is something that you create, you manufacture for yourself and for others. And so when I think of meaning in life, I ask, uh, have I learned something today that I didn't know yesterday? Bringing me a little closer to knowing all that can be known in the universe. Just a little closer. However far away all the knowledge sits, I'm a little closer. <laughs> if I live a day and I don't know a little more that day than the day before, I think I wasted that day. So the people who at the end of the school year say, this summer I don't have to think anymore. I'm thinking, what is, the, what? <laughs> what? The, to learn is to become closer to nature. And to learn how things work gives you power to influence events. Gives you power to help people who may need it. Power to help yourselves, to shape a trajectory. So when I think of what is the meaning of life, to me that's not an eternal unanswerable question. To me, that is in arm's reach of me every day. And so for you, at age six and three quarters, I, may I suggest that for you, you should explore nature as much as you possibly can. And occasionally that means getting your clothes dirty because you might want to jump into puddles and your parents don't want you to do that. <laughs> you tell them that I gave you permission to jump into puddles. Okay?
when I was in first grade, I, uh, I was curious about a lot of things. So here's what I want you to do. I think you, when you go home, okay, and you start poking around the kitchen, have you ever done that? Have you ever opened the cabinets and pulled out the pots and pans and started banging on them? Isn't that cool? That's fun, right? Yeah. Uh, did your parents stop you? Yeah. So tell them to not stop you. <laughs> And you like to explore things. And your parents don't like it because it gets the pots and pans dirty and because it's noisy. But for you, it's fun. And you're, test you're actually doing experiments. What does the wooden spoon sound like on the aluminum pot? Or the metal ladle sound like on the steel pot? And they all make different sounds. And it's fun, right? OK, another thing. If it's raining out and there's a big puddle, what do you want to do with that puddle? Jump in it? Yeah, you want to jump in it, and so do your parents let you jump in it? No. <laughs> so, tell your parents that Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson said to let you jump in the puddle. <laughs> because when you jump in a big muddy puddle, first that's fun, right? That's completely fun, and you are making a splash crater. So you so these are experiments. Just tell your parents that they're experiments and you want to become scientists. And then they won't stop you from doing anything you want. So thank you. We have people who have belief systems, such as what you described, where you will go with the devil if you don't know have their beliefs. There are people with those belief, with beliefs such as that who now want to create laws based on those beliefs that affect everybody. Even those people that either don't believe or have different beliefs. That is the end of an informed democracy. In our democracy, it is my opinion that if you're going to make a law that affects everybody, it should be based on objective truths. Well, after that, believe what you want in your community, in your church, in whatever is the enclave where you've gathered other people who have shared beliefs as you. Well, my question is, how should I respond to yeah. the person? <laughs> believe in God, then you also don't believe in hell, or the devil, or all these other, in fact, in Judaism, there is no hell. There are whole religions where hell doesn't even exist. It's not a place. So, if you don't believe it, the rest of that argument is irrelevant to you. So your argument was, well, if I don't believe God, I also don't believe in hell. So, uh, you know. Unless it's really important to your classmates that you join their religion. And it will be important to them. That's how many communities are constructed. And so maybe one day they will convince you to believe in God. And then you'll, if it's a Christian God, you'll then believe in the devil. And then you'll join their belief system. That could still happen. There are many grown ups who do that, who might have been an atheist in their childhood. Um, I don't have a problem with that. Just don't base legislation on that. That affects other people. That's all. Okay? That, that, that's, that's a great question. And that, you know, that question was in everyone else's mind here, but they were afraid to ask. Okay? Am I lying?